Hey guys, so today we are going to look at some buy list prices. They are absolutely collapsing. A week ago, I was looking at Underground C, and as you guys know, Underground C is for me a very good barometer of what prices are. Underground C was about $525 buy list. It is now $400 or $425. I guess we'll see. Oh, $425. So it's dropped another $100 dollars could this card hit two hundred dollars like it did during the beginning of the pandemic i think so i think it this card could really hit that amount of money and it could do so soon uh volcanic islands free 90 the prices of a lot of these these are reserve lists by the way if you guys want to have a good laugh you can look at the non-reserve list which we can look at a little later in time but this is the high end. This is power nine. These are the dual lands. These is this is the creme la creme, the creme of la creme in terms of cards investment. We're not looking at modern stuff. Like the, if you look at modern stuff, they're they're a shell. If you, if you want to take an example, uh, take a look at poor poor Tamagoyf. Tamagoyf is almost worthless today. Uh, a card used to buy list uh, for $100, $150. Now you can't buy list it for a candy bar. And you can take a look at all these recent sets, right? I mean, things are getting very, very ugly in the marketplace. And people won't tell you this. Uh, they will say, oh, well, now it's a good time to buy. It's falling knives. We got a lot more. I fully expect that based on how Wizard of Coast is dealing with Magic the Gathering, and people are like, oh, they're going to reprint the reserve list. That'll... No, no, no. The prices are going to tank for the opposite reason. It's the exact opposite. If they reprinted the reserve list, there would actually be some interest in it, right? And Legacy, oh, and maybe adding some EDH cards, and maybe they want the original card. They would actually, I think it would actually help the price. Um, what's happening is the reserve list is simply not, is very archaic, and no one cares. In terms, I mean, look at Library of Alexandra. It's like seven hundred eighty-five dollars. When's the last time you saw a library for seven? Again, this is buy list. I, I get what some of you will say. Tundra's two twenty-five. Plateau's one seventy. Uh, like, oh well, buy list is supposed to be low. Yes, but you have to understand what this is. This is a company with a lot of data. Card Kingdom is one of the only companies where their buy list still up. Star City Games will say, oh, we have a buy. It's really a trade list. It's not really fair to say it's a buy list. Um, in my opinion, the buy, buy list means you got to get cash for it. And that's that's why I don't even look at that buy. I don't even look at that buy list because it's not, in my opinion, a real. Because, like, great, you can get more magic cards. <laughs> I mean, this is an epic collapse. Buy you at 220 These cards, this... It shows the confidence. Time Twister Beta at five. It shows the confidence that Card Kingdom has of the market, which is almost zero. Uh, we looked at sealed boxes before. Um, I would surmise that this is about the same loss, maybe a 50, 60% decline from the high, height and the peak. And the buy list is the real price. I mean, I'd hate to, um, I hate for you guys to say, it. I mean, I hate, I'm going to straight up tell you this. A card is worth what you can get for it. Yes, you can sell on eBay for slightly more, but you got to deal with scammers. Remember, eBay always chooses the buyer's side. I have never seen a collapse in the buy list like this. And Troll and Toad, from Troll and Toad, from Channel Fireball, from Star City Games, nobody got no real money for this these cards anymore. And yet you still got people, you know, you got people out there saying that these cards are going to the moon. How? Like, and, and my argument has always been, it's very, very, very simple. Let's say Underground C is $800 at its peak. Well, now it's about $400 buy list card. You could buy two. If you really like the card, you can actually buy two copies of it instead of one. And if it hits $200, you can buy four copies of the same card. You can buy a place out of it for the same price. We are heading this way, and there's nothing, in my opinion, stopping it. Um, and this is the premiere. Wait till I show you 
some of like the modern and standard stuff. You're talking about 90% decline in price from their the quote highs, right? Ristic study, 20 bucks now. It used to be a $40, $50 buy list card all day long, 100% or 50% declining price. I mean, let's be real here. The market is collapsing as I speak. A week ago, Underground C was either 500 or 515 or 525. Today, it's 425. Uh, in fact, let me go back to my video. My what? Where's my video? Um, so that's sealed, sealed, squish mellows. I'm gonna go. Somebody go back, find the video, and tell me what it used to be a week ago because it did not used to be 400. dollars That that's the one card that I know the price of at almost any given day. Because that is the one card that I really research and that I really take the time to understand because then it indicate I have 400 dual lands. So if Underground C is not doing well, I can pretty much conclude that my other dual lands are you know just in the toilet as well. So I do not care what these influencers are saying and how they're saying it and how awesome they're making it appear to be. The, the prices, the cash price, 110 for Mana Crypt. Come on, you got to be kidding me, right? From the mystery box. The lit. Uh, no. <laughs> no. The. And when you're, quote, an investor, I'm going to assume that you have multiple copies of these cards. Man, I mean, I, uh, Tundra. What was that? Tun Savannah is so low that I even clipped it off because I don't want to see it. Urza Saga is 20 bucks. That might actually not be bad for Urza Saga. The, the stocks have continued to fall. There is no safety net. There is no Federal Reserve to stop it from falling. And at the end of the day, I mean, it's very intriguing to me. Grand Monolith is very low. I forget how low it is, but it's like $100 now. I couldn't imagine. People have invested in Grand Monolith. I'm looking at the up and down values, and it's all down, man. It's all down. Oof. Man, it's, it's, it's ugly. It is pretty ugly out there. And honestly, like the only thing that goes up is these Universe Beyond cards. Because that's what people want. Oh, here's a Rivals of Ixalan card. Merfolk. Yeah, it's ugly. Force of Will at $45. When's the last time you saw Force of Will $45? People say Concha Tarkir. Stonks investment. Uh, hell no. <laughs> Fetch lands reprinted a billion times. Anyway, it's bad. It's always very bad.